that should be good. It is getting so cold outside. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. With this sudden weather change, I've realized how many things I need to get done outside before it actually starts snowing. So my goal for this week is to get as much of that done as possible and hopefully I can achieve that and then I never have to go outside again. Sounds great. <laughs> Look at me actually adhering to safety precautions. I feel like I have so much to do still. I used to love flipping over big rocks when I was little so I could collect salamanders and keep them in buckets. But I don't see any here. What am I supposed to do with these rocks? I don't think this pressure is. Maybe he's off to kill. Found a ball. Minskin, look! A ball! I think it had a slug on it. Oops. Don't eat the slug. Firmly, yeah, there's a slug. Firm, ow! Firmly grasp it. <laughs> they got it. Mm. We love him. He's the best. I've honestly been so stressed out lately. I feel like I have so many things to do and so little time. <laughs> I've been. I've been like overloaded with work that I need to get done before the holidays and I've had a million things to do around the house and um, can you not lick right now please? <laughs> and um, I've had a couple people in my life have been really sick. I have to fly up to Massachusetts soon to see my grandfather who's not doing well. And there's a lot of other things that I can't really talk about on here that have just been happening in my life that have made it just really stressful lately. I've hardly been sleeping because I've been working so much and trying to meet deadlines and just doing way too many things at once and I've been really tired and overwhelmed. This time of year is always pretty stressful for me. Growing up it was always a little bit stressful just with my family. After my mom died we didn't have a lot of money and so the holidays were kind of pretty boring. We didn't really get presents or anything and it was always kind of stressful because my dad was struggling and all sorts of stuff. So this time of year always kind of reminds me of that. Also I just have a little bit of a hard time when it gets cold. I get seasonal depression pretty bad and so I always have to take extra steps to really take care of myself in the fall and winter. Something that's been helping me a lot recently is scheduling out every day of my life. I schedule out literally everything, like when I'm eating, when I'm working, when I'm taking breaks, when I work out, like everything is in a schedule so that way I can stay on top of all my work stuff but also have some time set apart to focus on things that will make me feel better physically and mentally. Um, and that's been really helpful recently. Are you sleeping? He's sleeping. He ate too many potatoes and now he's dead. He's dead.
have lots of new plant pots. Look at this one. I love it. While I was repotting some of my struggling plants, I was thinking about a quote I saw on the internet about how humans are basically just complicated house plants. And it's so true. Sometimes we get a little droopy and sad and weak, and sometimes that means we might just need to tend to our basic needs that we've been neglecting. Sometimes we just need a change in environment, or some nourishing food, some water, some sunlight, and that's enough to get some life back into us. It might not solve everything, but it certainly can help us feel better and perk back up so that we have more energy to put toward the things that we need to get accomplished in our lives. I put some rainbow catchers on all of my windows in my house. They're the same ones that I have in my van. So every time the sun hits them, rainbows go everywhere, and it's the best thing ever. I've decided Ow! <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna somehow mount this plant tripod light stand thing to the wall so that way it can be hidden behind the curtains and then just the lights can come out from behind the curtains and I think it'll just look so much better. I'm not entirely sure how I want to mount this. I'm thinking if I drill like two hooks on either side then I could get like a piece of string or something and just tie it over that. And then we'll just twist these into the holes. That's perfect. So now I can push these even closer together. You know, I think this guy might be dead. I'm just not feeling great about him. Today we are saying goodbye to Henry. He lived a short life, just a couple months, of apparent agony and torture, as he did not survive very long. Despite me feeding him and giving him water and sunlight, he just could not last. So, Henry, we say goodbye. We will throw him in the grass here, and we will wish him the best in his afterlife. Goodbye, Henry. We will keep his dirt for the next plant, because honestly, this dirt was pretty much brand new. I don't know what his problem is. There's always that one in the litter that just doesn't make it, and that was Henry. Now let's go back inside, because it's freaking cold. Munchkin, you coming in? Come on. Okay, now we are going outside and I'm gonna put these lights on the fence. They're solar powered and they make really cool patterns and I thought it would be a cool thing to have at night on the fence. Look at this holly tree. I think that's holly. Once the sun goes down, we'll come back out here and see how those look. I had just enough to put it on every other post of the fence. The next thing I'm gonna do is climb these two giant trees because I wanna hang some lights from the trees to the house. They're solar powered, so they'll just turn on at night and I think it'll look really cool. This is my first time using an axe. 
that did not go as intended. Ready? Why won't you break? Sorry. All right, let's make a fire. A fire. We're using the boxes that those lights that we put outside came in. Genius, recycling, kind of. Also, today I realized that you're not supposed to paint fences when it's under like 40 degrees. And I was painting in 30 degree weather and then it was like in the teens last night. So my paint might be fucked. I'm hoping it's not, but I mean, it looks fine now, but I don't know how it's gonna hold up. Um, I'm trying to get as much accomplished this week as I can because my dad is flying in to visit me um, this weekend and he's never seen my house. He lives pretty far away and I haven't seen him in like two years. So he's coming up. He's gonna, he said he would help me with any projects that I need help with, but most of them I have pretty much done on my own. These are really cool. I like the little pattern of the shows. They just go all the way down. Very nice. 